hello 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 welcome back guys to my youtube channel if you're seeing this screen then you know which video we're gonna continue yes today we're gonna continue our part two of application video of tu ilmna for the course microelectronics and nanotechnology if you are seeing this video for the first time for tu ilmna for the course microelectronics and nanotechnology then i strongly suggest you to visit our requirement analysis video at first then come back to first part of german application or german university application play playlist where i have explained you how to apply for this particular course microelectronics and nanotechnology what are the requirements we saw and also i i showed you how to get into this application portal register and login after doing all these things then come back to the second part which i am doing now and here i will be showing you how to apply for second puc and degree certificate of your bachelor and at the end how are you going to submit the application so these are the things that we're gonna do please bear with me watch this video completely because there are so many important information and most of the time whatever the questions that you ask in the comment are completely covered in video so please look the video completely don't skim the video and you will miss most of the information which i say while applying after that if you're new to this channel then please don't forget to click like share and subscribe and also please share this video with the people who are in need so that they can also look into our videos check for our requirement analysis video our application video and also get to know how german application can be applied and what are the requirements that usually german uh, degree programs will ask then they can start their degree program whichever they like also if you want to get in touch with me one-on-one -on -one session and have a deeper dive into your personal application and get your prescribed excel sheet for your course and also to get and landed in a german university then please join our membership program then we can achieve that also now we'll get started at first part of the video i stopped here where i didn't fill the university entrance qualification and at the closing of first state first first part also i told you in university entrance qualification usually think it like the university that you have done until now is bachelor because that is the first university degree that you have done and the second university degree that you gonna do is master that's why you're applying then what is university entrance qualification in order to do your bachelor university what is the entrance qualification that you took that entrance qualification is 12th standard or puc which is in other another word in at least in karnataka we say pre-university college either if you don't call it as pre-university college then you are you need to give the details about 12th standard so usually it will be five years if you count from 8 to 12th as a schooling or it will be also three plus two years it's also comes up to five years but here it will divide into 8 to 10 as school and 11th and 12th are considered as pre-university college but general idea you have to fill in your 12th details or puc here acquired in abroad yes of course then the country that i studied in india but it changes depending upon where you have finished your secondary school living certificate and type of entrance examination or qualification would be acquired abroad german uh, general higher education entrance qualification after that you can click on next once you click on next the next thing with that they ask is semester at german university so it is already pre-selected to zero and no because we are the first time we are applying and we don't have never uh, did a one semester or any of the semester in German university. If you have applying for higher semester, say examples for second semester, then you need to click on yes. And we, you need to say, I have done one semester in other university and coming for TU Ilm now for this, this particular course for higher semester, which is second semester. But if you are applying for the first time, then this, you don't need to worry. Then you can click on next. Once you, once, once you clicked on next, then it will ask for documents of admission letter. Here, if you have previously got an admission for this particular course, which is micro and nanotechnology, and due to visa issues, say example, APS issues, you couldn't go, then you can also say, yes, I have got the admission letter and give the admission letter, okay? But in our case, this is the first time we are applying. The reason I am selecting no. But here you can just see, upload the following documents only when you have selected yes. So we don't have application. That's the reason I will select no. Then we can click on next. Once you clicked on next, it will ask for your document A level and personal details. So document A level is nothing but your first study at the university. Example, high school diploma, A level, abitur, subject related, high school diploma uh, fuck abitur so a level and abitur abitur is nothing but the 12th standard in germany or it's the same high school diploma that we have done so that's the reason a level certificate would be our 10th 12th 
school living certificate that you need to go and university entrance examination certificate if you have then please give it that's the reason it is not mandatory here you can just see star mark for all other things but this doesn't have star mark because that nobody every doesn't have everybody have university entrance examination in india there are so many in, uh, university entrance examination that would be cet for karnataka but as of now it is not there i guess and there is need je je advance and other things that where you will do that or do that university entrance examination in order to pursue your bachelor those are the certificates that you need to put in here then at last you have to submit APS certificate you need to have the APS certificate if you don't have APS certificate before the application deadline you need to have and upload so here if you have APS certificate only you can finish the application okay then curriculum vintage passport after that they have told this leave empty because when submitting your application for the first time please leave this field blank because if admission office after uh, looking into your application if they ask for some additional documents you can upload that here in this field that's the reason they are telling you to leave it empty okay then uh, according to which education system that we have done we have done the foreign education system because we have not done in germany then we can click on next once you click on next it will ask for this study history study when you have done with the degree but if you say i don't have a degree i am doing in seven semester then you can't apply because it says here important applicants master program at bachelor degree abroad has to be there in order to start your master degree you you can take time until the application period is over but before application period over you need to have your bachelor degree and submit the application otherwise you cannot submit the application so you need to have technically finished your degree before at least your application uh, deadline which is may 15th and you need to give the bachelor degree certificate or at least provisional degree certificate so that's the reason we will go back and choose study with degree then we can click on next once you click on study as we have finished with the degree certificate it will ask for your certificate of your bachelor degree so please give in your certificate of bachelor degree in both the side where you have final degree and academic degree at last you have to also give your transcript of record so please mention or give in your transcript of record certificate of deregistration so this usually germany will have that after doing your finishing your degree wherever you do it you will get a deregistration certificate if you have then please give if you don't have then please don't give it because you can also go forward without giving it then you need to give a grading scaling system if you don't have then ple please leave it empty if you have please give it for vtu there is a grading system sheet which you can find in vtu website so please give that then please reserve again this document empty so that if they ask you to give more additional uh, documents then you can give it do you have another study program that you have done so people who have done already one masters in india and coming for here for second master then please click on yes and fill in the details if you have not then please select no and continue then you can click on next once you click down next then it will ask for general english language certificate where you need to give the il certificate of c1 at least or b2 level of now so which will be for six and above then you can click after giving IELTS certificate then you can click on next once you click on next the next application would be in order to review your application so this is don't confuse this is not for your application processing this is for VPD that's the thing that they have given first option and second option okay I will explain so this is the most important thing if you don't have any VPD of any college so if you have applied for TUM and any other university and you have a VPA, VPD certificate where technically they have converted your bachelor degree grades into German grade, then use the same VPD of any college here. Here you can just see in the second option that they have mentioned. If you have already a valid evaluation report, which is VPD for external service like UNIUSIS for any of the another university, then you can give, then you don't need to pay 75 euros in order to them to process it okay say example you don't have any vpd of any college then you need to pay 75 euros as a first option the evaluation is done by the admission office itself then you need to add or give 75 euros in order to process it so that 75 euros has to be sent to this bank details and here you can also give the reason of payment with the application number this application number you can get it here okay so this details you have to fill in and send 75 euros for this recipient and iban number and if you are sending swift code and all from international then you can also use this information clear 
if you have vpd then please give then you don't need to pay an up, uh, application fees if you don't have vpd this is the first time you're applying then pay 75 euros directly to to you ilm now then they will convert your grade as a vpd process that they need 75 euros then you can click on next once you click on next so this is the steps uh, status of processing so this status of processing will change once you submit the application so immediately after you submit application admission office will begin to see your application then this steps will change then you will get the information whenever a status will change after that you can click on once you click on next you will get an overview of complete application where you have filled in your university entrance examination which is second puc then you have filled in your documents of uh, previous semester if you had if you don't have then please fill in no as i told then you will also give the documents of second puc or 12th standard then you will give documents of bachelor degree when you have com uh, completed with the degree then you will give the il certificate after that if you are ha don't having any of the vpd of any college then you have to pay 75 euros to their university itself then they will do a vpd analysis if you have vpd then please give the vpd then you don't need to pay 75 euros then this is the status that they are asking then you can click on i hereby confirm that i have whatever i entered as a data is correct then you can submit the application so once you submit the application the ad admission community will start looking at your application then they will process then they will inform whenever you get an admission rejection whatever they want to give so this is what the complete application procedure that i wanted to explain you for tu ilm now so hope you guys uh, liked it but please make sure you watch complete because this video has so many information and so many important information so in the next video see you in for another college where i will show you requirement analysis at first then application procedure you know the procedure how we continue so yeah see you in next video until then take care bye bye